Howdy, and welcome back to The Witcher 3 with Wicked Storm Gaming. We are doing something I don't remember. Zirel can harness er, no. amounts of the power. Why has no one taught her to control this? Actually, some did teach her. Clearly to no effect. I'll gladly argue with you about this some other time. Okay. Well, they're having a little hissy fit together, ain't they? Haven't had a chance to talk. Thanks for your help, and for looking after Siri. You will thank me later. Now we must take Zirel from here, Haida, and then gather a greater force. Anyone, everyone we could count on came here to care Morhen. Which is why we must seek the help of enemies. Magic is our best defense against the hunt. We need sorceresses, arch mistresses of magic. You mean the Lodge? Yeah, the Lodge is in shambles, isn't it? The Lodge's members are dead. The rest are in hiding. Philippa Eilhart, Margarita Loantil, and Fringilla Vigo are likely still alive. And Francesca and Ida? Think they'd agree? I think they'll take convincing. Would you rather speak to Kira alone? That would probably be best. I don't want to involve the Lodge. I really don't. They caused nothing but trouble in the last game. Hello, Siri? Okay, but, you know, anybody will help, I guess. If we're lucky, they'll die in the fight. Don't trust the Lodge one bit, but doesn't seem like we have a choice. Because we don't. I've made an agreement with the Emperor. In exchange for its help, the Lodge will be granted amnesty and find asylum in Nilfgaard. That will be our bargaining chip. Triss, I wish to leave today to find the sorceresses. Will you help me? <coughs> of course. Even Maybe. got an idea where you could start. Damn it! Again, you planned without even asking what I think. I've had enough of this. I won't be taken somewhere like a bundle. I will not sit and twiddle my thumbs. I am sick of waiting, sick of hiding. No, well, fine. Go off and die then. You I'm so explode. sick. You're like a spoiled little I'm bitch. You know that? To be held aloft and kept from the enemy. That's how you treat me. None of you has the courage to face this threat. Yet we must kill them. Or sooner or later we will all die. Oh, I'll go after her. Go I out. guess. Wait, she needs time. We must let her resolve her grief on her own. Then we should start training as soon as possible. She must learn to control her abilities. She's been teleporting all over the damn place. Necessary. You saw what happened. She could be a greater threat than the hunt. Fine. We'll stay here a while longer, then join you and Triss in Novigrad. How oh, is she a threat? Lines in. Come on, Yen. The sooner we leave, the better. See ya. How was Syria threat? I haven't seen her do shit. She teleports a bit, but that's neat and all, but... What the fuck has she done? Like, the big explosion thing, far as I know, is was caused by this elf bitch here. Am I crazy? Like, that explosion in whatever the fuck that island was with all the pirate fuckers. Hooray, a level up or some shit. Um, that was caused by the elf fucker. So... Yeah, she hasn't tele done anything but teleport. And be passed out in a hut for a while. Don't you see? Discouraged after a mere eight attempts? Sierra. How many times must I try? Clearly more than eight. As many as it takes. But I'm not getting anywhere. I don't understand how she could be a bigger threat than the hunt. Unless she accidentally teleports like the entire planet into the sun or something. Is that a possibility? We shall return to this later. You really are acting like a spoiled little shit. Oh no, I tried eight oh, times and it didn't time. work. Nyeh. Geralt, please, not now. <sighs> By comparison, the gauntlet was a walk in the park. But that's not the point. What is? Avalok says nothing will come of this until I stop thinking about the battle. What battle? But oh, right, the battle. The moment I find it impossible to fill my head with kittens and vanilla pudding. Man, I'd kill for some pudding right now. Tell me, how do you do it? What? I want Manage butterscotch pudding. Together. Ooh, Focus. lemon. No matter what's happening. Uh. 
Yeah, relax. Hmm. Don't know about vanilla pudding. Could work. But nothing picks me up like Lambert's famous homebrew. Suppose it can't kill me. Yeah, yeah alcohol poisoning is totally a thing. You suppose you can't kill me? Enough of it sure fucking could. That's the thing, though. Enough of anything to kill your ass. It's about moderation. Oh, kitty. The fuck you got? Is that a fucking hawk? The hell kind of bird was that? And since when did we get a cat? Phew. That strong. Maybe you want to try a different method. Yeah, drink through a beak. At least 20. Wouldn't let it worry you. Not like you need to excel at everything. You're great with a sword, an excellent archer. Leave the magic to mages. Yeah. Pull me another. I thought he meant a different drinking method. Pretty sure she's supposed to be holding that. What is with the cat? Did it eat that entire bird already? What the fuck kind of cat is this? And its gut is not looking good. Ugh. All angular and shit. Those are feet. Hello, feet. Geralt. He's butt ass naked. Why is he naked? What? What? What's happening? Get up. You must go. I've saddled the horses. Siri, it's the crack of dawn. Where do you want to go? To Velen, Bald Mountain. But a few days till the Witch's Sabbath. Hmm. And guess who's the guest of honor? I don't care. Don't know and don't really care, to tell you the truth. After this training with Avalok, we were gonna ride to Novigrad. Remember? Change of plans. Imlarith will be at the Sabbath. We'll get him there. Where do you get this idea? What's gotten into you? She wants to go and die. The Sabbath. It's the perfect opportunity. Imlarith will be drunk among his cohorts. Caught up in the revelry. He'll not expect the blow. Why do I doubt Avalak's a fan of this idea? Do you see him here? I left him a letter. Will we join him in Novigrad? Come no, he'll die and fight in the hunt like an idiot. Wait. Something I gotta tell you before we go. You know, the Emperor really wanted you found. Yennefer mentioned something. Wanted you to visit him. Why would you tell me now? Because this could be your last chance to see your... father. Hmm. Think I should go? I mean, I was getting paid. Uh, it's your fucking decision. I don't give a shit. I don't know your history with your dad. It doesn't seem like it's good. Should I go or not? Ah, shit. Um, sure, it might be horrible and awkward, but, I mean, you can teleport. What the fuck's he gonna do? Probably just wants to talk. How can you be sure? Fuck, I don't know. He wants something more. Promised me he wouldn't force you to do anything. So I should go? It's up to fucking you, I don't care. Azima is on the way. I suppose we can drop in. I really wish I could remember like where all these fucking places were. Um Ready? Uh sure. Let's go. I guess. After the Battle of Kaer Morin, the defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses. So we lost one guy. Plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die. All right. Well, she's acting like a spoiled little shit. The only way she's going to survive this is if she's got plot armor. That was a weird one. Whatever.
Why are you just sitting out here? Your Royal Majesty, Geralt of Rivia, and Cirilla Fiona Ellen Rhiannon, Queen of Sintra, Princess of Bruges, and Duchess of Sutton, heiress to Innes Ard Skellig and Innes Ann Skellig, and suzerain of Atra and Abiara. Oh, God damn, it's a whole laundry list of a name, isn't it? Before long, every soul from Nilfgaard to the Dragon Mountains will kneel before you. Neat. I did not expect you to keep your word, Witcher. Now we're here thanks to Siri. Siri wanted to hear what you have to say. And she will. Your reward. It seems like the kind of box that would have a head in it. I didn't do it for coin, but I'm gonna take it. Thanks. Carol. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Sixty. Seventy. Eighty. Ninety. Oh, this would be a whole big plot thing for you, wouldn't it? That is all of it. Initial here, please. I haven't a head to be in that box, though. I didn't initial shit. I'm sitting there holding coins with both hands. Like a beggar holding out his hand for a couple coins. I was going to find you anyway. Why not get paid while doing it? Now forgive me. I wish to speak. To my daughter. Well, speak then. Follow me, sir. No, oh, I can't sit in. All right. <sighs> it's gonna be a whole thing with her, and it's like, oh my god, you only came to find me because of money. Like, yeah, why the hell would I not accept money for something I was going to do anyway? See you. Hello. General. You had no trouble crossing the Ponta, I trust. I don't know who you are. I take it you crossed via the ford near Van Glean. No it's idea. It's fortunate you did not choose to ride through Rhind, a troubled region still. Radovid seeks to breach the front in the west, but he'll not succeed. Not before the princess becomes empress and we bring order to the area. Siri hasn't agreed to that yet. Yes, of course, she's tactful, not one to celebrate an offer not yet made. But this is not the kind of offer one refuses. <laughs> you don't know Siri. Isn't it? Do you know any who would not like to be emperor of Nilfgaard? Mmm, Siri and girl. I thought only the wine-addled minds of bards and poets could give birth to such stories. The prodigal daughter of the most powerful ruler in the continent's history returns on the eve of his final triumph to embrace her inheritance. That is a heck of a chair. Citizens adore such stories as they do the princesses, ever beautiful and delicate who are the... Yeah, I wouldn't call Siri delicate. Geralt, we're leaving. Told you. So nice to see you, my lady. Likewise. Time we were on our way. All right. Shame you can't stay. I hope to continue this on another occasion. I don't know what the hell you were doing. Well? If he thinks he can buy me, he is sorely mistaken. Yeah. By the way, that spectacle with the coin. What was that? Emperor's got lots. Couldn't see why he shouldn't share some with us. Is that see? what this was about? From the start? Now I knew there was going to be a whole big thing. It's always been about you. Only you. If I can get paid along the way, though, I mean, why not? A coin in there. Siri, I... If it wasn't, you shouldn't have accepted it. Dude, fuck you. I did a job. I'll be over it by the time we reach Velen. I did a job. I'm going to get paid for the job. Even if it was something I was going to do anyway, I'm still going to get paid for it. The battle of Caramoran, the defenders licked their wounds. This again? Yeah, right. Siri, who began to plan her event. <sighs> At least it's not that fucking elf laying on a bed anymore. With her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. Now that's stupid. She had decided he had to die. He has to die. No. 
before we raise an army or whatever the hell it was we were doing. This game has like three different loading screens it goes through every time we go into one of those big loading screens. First it talks about where you are in the story, then it has a loading screen with a picture behind it, and then it just goes black for a couple of minutes and loads some more. It's weird. Why so many loading screens? Why not just stick with one? Heck, go with the black one if it loads faster. Anyway, she took a fucking quick turn. Why is everything blurry again? She took a quick turn after we, uh, going back to the big tree? Okay. But she said, like, after we rescued her from that shack on the island with the wonderful fiend, she took a quick turn to being a bit of a spoiled bitch. Yeah. Yeah, we really needed that shot of the boots. We could never have done without that. They spoke of this place. Huh? Home of the ladies of the wood. If you say so. The peasants feared coming here. And the baron thought the ladies of the wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the baron is. Dead. Hanged himself after his wife died. Daughter's in Novigrad. A true shame. If you say so. Mm hmm. We stand to find Imlarith here? You sure? How the fuck do you know? Who commune with the NL elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the crones do this. Apparently, Imlarith came here at Eridin's behest to order the crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked in case Avalok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Think Imlarith might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass. And we'll be on bull now. I might be able to get a few hits in on the crows while we're here. You actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was... I'd very much like to kill those crones. But then the crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the Sacred Oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imlarith attends too, as the crones guest. Hmm. Seem to know it well. Havelock's a good tutor. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlarith there. Yeah, like when I was playing it's as you done. earlier, you didn't seem like such a spoiled little shit. I have no idea why. Soon as we got you off that misty island bullshit. Geralt? What? I can't run. Geralt? I can't move. What? Oh, I'm I'm trying to run and I'm just hitting talk. Avalach claims vanity is Imlarith's greatest weakness. Vanity? Whoa, hold on. Any foe he faces, he strives Loads to impress. Footprints. The other one, Karanthor, came is said to be here. secretive and pragmatic. Hardly surprising, given he was Avalach's student. Hmm. That's so. There's something over there. Okay, I can't examine that footprint, apparently. It's weird. Boot new eye. I'd very much like to, uh... Hey, Roach. Nice big head you got hanging off the side there. Come on. Hey. I'm sick of waiting on you. Come on. Should I shoot? Oh, I was gonna run his ass over for trying threatening to shoot me. Let them approach. But nice shoes, dude. Come for the feast. This dude's wearing we'll baskets. Didn't come to celebrate. As long as it works, I guess. To get to the top of the mountain. Here's the warm. You'll not pass. But we fires down that away with food and drink aplenty. Sit down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. Hmm. I guess we'll sit down by the fire. Thank you for the invitation. Be glad to sit down, right? Speak for yourself. Come with me. Okay, I don't know who that was. Why he's important enough for the camera to hang around and wait for him to show up. Dude, you're clipping through your clothes. <laughs> the way she's sitting just makes me think. You just give her a light shove on the shoulder. 
and she would just go tumbling into the dirt. Anyway, for now, like it if you liked it, subscribe if you want, share it if you can, and do what you want. I'll see you next time. Have fun.